So you probably have seen a lap with this car, or maybe not, or you will see because we just did both laps with both cars. And they're kind of similar but also different. This one's a manual, this one is DSG, um, and is there something else different? Um, the, brake, the suspension is more or less identical, um, mm -hmm. tires are the same, obviously DSG and slightly bigger brakes. Slightly, <laughs> just slightly. Six spots instead of the standards, but yes, 380 mil. You could definitely feel um, it, but uh, then again, also in these conditions, they're kind of useless because yeah. you have no grip anyway. So, But you could definitely feel it and for the brake modulation was very, very nice. And I hope... They're very similar apart from the, obviously the gearboxes and mm -hmm. the brakes. Yeah, you have also, no, you have different split, no, same splitter. Yeah, slightly different splitter. Yeah. Different yeah. splitter, yeah. slightly, slightly, yeah. I love it. I really love the, the way the Golf 7 looks. It's fantastic. It gives me like these TCR vibes. And that's going to be the last car that's going to be giving us TCR vibes because Golf 8 TCR never happened. You can cry in the comments. I definitely will. Um, yeah, other than that, um, as mentioned, DSG, around 400-ish horsepower. Yeah. yeah. What I really loved is that the uh, exhaust sound kind of stuck. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty so, quiet except yeah. for a lot of in induction noise. That's um, very nice. Very, very, very cool. V very tasteful. Like not a pops and th there were some pops and bangs happening, but uh, very modest. Very, very modest. You can probably not even hear them on the camera. That's how good they were. Um, yeah, but for the rest, also cage similar to the other one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if we missed anything worth mentioning. Like, um, you no, know, obviously with the dry tires, they're slight, normally slightly wider, so it's got slightly wider wings. Mm. Um, but other than that, they're pretty much identical. Yeah, yeah. Again, very much love the tires. Michelin Pilot Sport Five. Five yeah. yeah, Pilot Sport Five, not Pilot Five Sport, because that's all confusing for the next one. <laughs> um, no, fantastic. Very much loved it, and was also very much sad that we couldn't do a dry lap. So maybe at some point later in the year or coming year, we will see. So thank you very much for that. Thank you. Yeah, see you. Thank you so much. You guys enjoy the lap and I'm off with my next lap. Bye. That's for you. Thank you. Alright, made it onto the track. Everything is off. It's not the smartest idea in three and a half degrees temperature and occasional snow and hail. Uh, but we'll be cautious.
last year this corner was still kind of grippy in the wet, but now it has so much rubber after yeah, five years. Yeah. It, but it was like fuck PTSD ever since.
was nice. He gave us like a hazard lights <laughs> as a token of appreciation. <laughs> Wiper on the rear, so maybe it was like not a lot seeable. Oh, right. Ah, oh, annoying. Oh, yeah, we'll see. It was good fun. No, I loved it. I'm like, I'm just like super sad that it's not dry because yeah. this car would be really good. But I'm really happy because it's the first time uh, I'm driving PS5s or is it oh, P5S? Yeah. PS5s. PS5. Yeah. The next one the, is going to be PS5S. <laughs> yeah, they, they make it so complicated. Anyway, uh, this. Tire is really good in the in the wet. I mean, no. I expected it, of course, because uh, PS4s or PS4s were fantastic yeah. in the wet. So this well, would have been made them look a bit, lot better than I did. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks a lot. I hope we'll get to drive in the dry one day, but uh, yeah, not today. Not today, and maybe not tomorrow. And, but yeah, well, yeah it's a shame. thanks we, a lot. It was thank, good fun. No worries. Thank you.